administration says grocery prices are rising. They want to tackle that issue. WTAJ's Washington correspondent Basil John reports on the latest from the White House. Good evening. The administration says it's noticed where a majority of price increases are, and it's unfair to farmers and consumers. The White House says it is fighting against higher prices at the grocery store. Right now, we're deeply concerned. USDA Secretary Tom Vilsack blames rising meat prices, which he says are a result of a lack of competition in the supply chain. We need to have greater diversity uh, across, the across the board here. So we're looking for ways to increase market. The Biden administration points to a 2019 study from the Open Markets Institute, which found the four largest beef packing companies control 82% of the market. The real concern we have is that consumers are facing higher prices and the growers are not uh, getting paid higher and that raises real concern. National Economic Council Director Brian Deese says the White House wants to enforce antitrust laws, boost competition, and push back against pandemic profiteering. Our goal here is to work with industry to get to a better outcome that is, uh, ends up with a fair outcome for consumers and a fair outcome for American uh, farmers. Some lawmakers, like Florida Republican Congressman Mike Waltz, agree prices are a problem, but blame the administration. The government spending that's on overdrive is the issue, uh, but I don't see the progressives taking their foot on the gas off the gas anytime soon. The administration is confident its actions will help build a better food program for Americans and prevent corruption in the supply chain. Reporting in Washington, I'm Basil John. Food insecurity impacts at least 5 million college students in the United States, and advocates say the pandemic has actually made them hungrier. Today, a panel gave Congress recommendations of what lawmakers should do next to make sure campuses can feed students. Rachel Summick, uh, the founder and CEO of Swipe Out Hunger, urges lawmakers to extend SNAP benefits to more students and double the Pell Grants available to them. This group is pushing for the White House to hold its first conference on food, nutrition, health, and hunger. And that's the first one they're trying to do in more than 50 years. Joe?